Hey, what is up, everybody? And welcome back to more Stardew Valley. We're going to start off our day with a good old weather report and see if I have to do any work tomorrow. I do. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day, so I have to do a bunch of work. But we will learn a new recipe. So that's something. I can make surf right now. And the spirits. All right, extra luck. So we should definitely try and go to the mines. Oh, it's Clint. Uh, hi there, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. Well, thank you, Clint. Thank you for the reassurement. Want to get the most out of your ore you find? You'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here if you want to try, have a try at them. So now we can make furnaces and make copper bars and stuff, which we can then use to upgrade our stuff. So basically, he just came to give us more work to do so we can pay him money once we do that work. Really nice guy. Alright, you make some 10 slimes? Okay. I definitely killed way more than 10 slimes. But, you know. Now I gotta go kill 10 of them. Build a furnace. Okay. I think first things first, though, we need to take care of this farm. Ultimately, this is uh, about farming, not going into uh, the caves. So we'll get all our crops watered up for the day. And I probably should go buy a few more seeds at some point. Because, I don't know, I only got a little bit of money, so I'm not going to worry about buying stuff today. That doesn't seem very important right now with the small amount of money I have. Oh, the problem with playing this just weekly is I forget where I was doing the past week, so I'm pretty sure I left off last time with some big plans of something I was going to do. Now I don't remember what that was at all, but I believe mining was a part of it, and uh, I definitely want to go hit up the mines today, so, oh, no, I wanted more water, but I am going to also, I need to watch my energy, I'm getting lower on that, as I waste energy watering spots that I don't need to water. One of the first things that'd be nice to do is upgrade my watering can, so... Get more water. There we go. Oh, I got it the first time. I'm looking at my energy. Okay, so... Let's see. What do I have in here? That doesn't give me much of anything. To build the furnace, all I need is some stone. Let's take you out as well. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see real quick. Ooh, I can build a stone sign. I need 15 copper ore as well. Or 20 and I only have 15, okay. So let's put you all away. Oh wait, no. I want hand controller. There you go. I want this. Let's just go to the mines right now. I can't think of anything else I really needed to do. Um, right, there's nothing else that I needed to do today. Well, hopefully not, because uh, I'm going to call it here and just go mine all day. If I can get enough copper ore to upgrade my bucket and then maybe my pickaxe would be the next best thing to upgrade so that way I can dig faster all right let's see here come on man let's go ow oh, bad slide die there we go and I have extra good luck today, so hopefully I don't get stuck down here too long. 
looking for the exit. Ooh, got some copper ore, all right. Nothing really over here, so let's just find the exit. Well, I'm thinking of the spirit slide today. Oh, there we go. Safety, yeah. The luck factor doesn't seem to be too good there. Die, 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 die. I really want a better sword. Oh, that, that's not what I want to use to kill you. Dang it, I should have left my fishing pole back there too. I probably could have just left all my tools for the most part. Ooh, got a cherry bomb, all right. isn't much down here so far though next time I come in the mines I need to remember leave my stuff behind and at least I'll get my uh, 10 slime kill here if I don't that'll be nuts Ow, stop that stop bad slime Bad sign. Alright, now let's go take down the big boy here. Come on, let's go. Die. Die, die. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize that guy was still alive. Do I need that algae? Probably not. Anybody else in here? Ooh, there's another big one. Ooh, there's a lot over here. Be careful. Not die. This little guy needs to go away. Stop pooping me. That stupid little one that's really messing with me right now. Ah, I'm getting surrounded. Getting surrounded. Whew, there we go. Might as well eat the leak too right now. Just get the health and energy back up a little bit. Why risk it, right? Come on. I need you to die now. Yay! Where's the way down? Oh, there we go. Oh, and we got some copper right here. All right. Oh, I gotta get rid of something now. Um. No, let's just eat the other leak. Probably gonna have to eat it anyways. that time all right it's a good find at least starting off wise okay cool really just want to make it down to the 10th floor so that way i can uh skip all this next time again unless i think you might get something for making it down to the 10th floor i can't remember this. Alright. I can break into it. I don't want slimes. I really don't have much of a use for them. Yeah, I don't want you, stupid slime. Get out of here. Die. Alright. I want that stone, too, so I'm gonna use my cherry bomb up. get much out of that, did I? I was hoping a way up or a way down would at least open up, but not even that happened. 
Dang it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get some good stuff now. Or not. Come on, one of these has to have something good. All empty. We're getting ripped off here. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I really need to not come down here with my inventory full of stuff. That being said, I'd rather have a geode than take uh, rocks with me right now. Come on, there's gotta be a way to the next level. Somewhere around here, right? Maybe. Maybe not. decisions come okay i have a lot of crystal do i want topaz though yeah um last time the geodes didn't have anything good in them i'm getting rid of that one what i really want is just oh there we go find the next level that's what i wanted okay and Leather boots. Can you used to be able to just oh there we go. I just want to drop that on the ground so I can see what I can do with these boots real quick. See if they're worth putting on. Because I just have one defense with those. Yeah, I get immunity as well. So sorry, red shoes, you're out of here. And I can pick that up. Okay, cool. That being said, I think I will go back to the farm now, though, because I really don't have the capacity to carry much. And then tomorrow, I might do a run over to Gunther and take him a bunch of the stuff I have. What's up, Linus? Somebody's throwing rocks in. Poor dude. Just trying to live his life. Oh, it's an... Sunday, I can give people gifts again. Okay. Well, let's run through town, see if there's anybody worth giving stuff to. Abigail's worth giving stuff to. By far, I think Abigail is the uh, best marriage candidate in this game. She likes video games, plays instruments. What's not to like? What's up here? Oh, well, poor guy, sad. Will they let me go in there? No. You have to be good enough friends with them to go into their room. So, it's a very odd living room. Very spacious with like hardly anything in it. The rooms have a lot of furniture. The living room is kind of lacking. Okay. Let's see. Uh, anybody in the saloon? Oh, so I met everybody. Right? Yeah, okay, that was... I met everybody because it wasn't in my little journal thing. Right? Oh, I gotta go to the Adventurer's Guild at some point, too. What's up, Clint? Don't you have work to do? Oh, he's such a nice, friendly dude. You gotta love him. Okay, well... I'm gonna head back to my farm for the night, I think. We had a good run at it in the mines, found some cool stones. We'll uh, make Gunther happy tomorrow, we'll drop off a lot of stuff for him. Hopefully, he'll give us something. Because really, that's the only reason to do anything in life, is in hopes people will give you something for it. But in the meantime, actually, we can do this. Boom, we got a furnace. Where to put this bad boy? Okay, we're gonna 
break this tree down here. Gonna kind of make a more expansive open concept farm. Once when I have the energy tomorrow, I guess. But probably like right in here, I'm thinking the furnace will go. We'll just put them right there for now. And then, let's see. How much do I need for the furnace? I think I need a coal and five to make a bar. Maybe. Yeah, we're gonna have a copper bar now, all right. All right, tomorrow we'll probably work on the farm a little bit too. But right now, my health is down. I don't have energy, I'm just a mess and I need to get my rest. Ooh, and our combat went up. That's a win. Now, excuse me while I get my energy up. All right, something good in the weather report. Come on. Beautiful sunny day. Ugh. Fortune teller. A little extra luck. All right. I don't care about living off the land. I don't need to know what they have to say. All right, let's... First things first, get to watering. We'll do this. We'll see what Gunther has to uh, give us. I think he might give seeds out for when you bring him stuff like the first time. I honestly don't remember. And then we'll just come back to the farm and take care of things here. I think there's a plant I planted behind the scarecrow. I honestly don't remember. It's one thing that kind of sucks is I always forget about the poor plant behind the scarecrow when I play these games because you can never see them. So, oh, out of water. When you get the bronze watering can, you can hold down the button and then it waters three plants at once I think eventually you can get it where you like water like eight or nine tiles all at once I think oh I overshot that one no go down that's what I wanted I haven't really seen anything they added with the new update in this either yet I'm kind of excited to run across something new I haven't seen. I keep watering the wrong squares. However, I do see this guy right here. Some clay. That's all we got was some clay, yay. Okay, let's open this up and let's see, I want to put you and you, let's put you all over here and we'll sell that stuff yeah, I'll just sell the clay we dug up I'm sure somebody will want it probably not and I'll take this and that and that or I just need one of them actually um, let's see I just want I'm gonna grab two in case to see Abigail I'll give her one of those because she likes those all right, cool, and that perfectly limits me out, but I think that's all I had to give to uh, the museum, so. Happy fat little scroll and some birds out on the beautiful sunny day. I think this is probably one of my favorite tracks in this game too. Hello there, lady. We need to give George a leak again, too. Gotta make that old guy like us. I come bearing gifts. Alright. Let's see. Here, take my old rusty spur. And put that next to uh, the chicken there. Oh, no. I wanted to donate more. See, we'll start a stone table over here. 
Dang it. I keep exiting out on accident. Some lovely toe pass for him. Ooh, we got a new reward, all right. And then you can have some amethyst. And this stone. There. What, what did you have for me? Cauliflower seeds. All right. Plant these in the spring. They take 12 days. Okay, we still have time to plant them. So we'll plant those. Because there's 28 days each month, I think, or season. Can you please crack these open? Three copper, okay. Another one of those stones, the earth crystal. I think those are like universally loved by most of the characters in this game, so these can use it. Or maybe not love, but like, it's like, they do tiers where it's like, they love something, they like it, they're neutral, they dislike it, and then they hate it. I think it's the way it goes. I think the uh, Earth Crystal is one of those like, liked by almost everybody. Abigail, I have crystals for you. And her prompt is great. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? Looks delicious. Then you give her a crystal. It's not rock candy, dude. Oh, but I can also talk to her and get more friendship points that way too, huh? Alright, might as well talk to everybody. Oh, I already talked to you today. Talk to Pierre real quick too. Get him to like me more. Okay, so let's go take care of our farm today. I've been kind of neglecting that. Okay, real quick side detour though. Let's go pick some flowers. There we go. Any flowers up there? Nope. Okay. Worth a little look though, right? I don't like how close this fence is right here, too. I should have built that lower. So I think that's something I'm going to finish out this season. And then next season, before I do all my crops, this is going to be something I try and fix up a little bit more, I think. Just not a fan of that. If my farm isn't looking nice, then what's the point of having a farm at all, right? Okay, let's put all these things away. plant these uh, six left yay more work to water but it will mean money eventually so it all evens out right These trees up here, gotta go. They're going eventually, there we go. This little one needs to get out of here too. Man, there's like all these shrubs and stuff. Okay, I don't like where the furnace is. I already can tell I'm gonna move that too. meantime though at least I can kind of make a clearer path over this way Ooh, getting some seeds too all right maybe over in here more I'll make it I think I'll just keep just putting stuff like actually in the dirt Ooh. Ooh, what's this nice I didn't realize there'd be harvestable stuff in the farm like this I like that I do like the fact that it gives you like different farm types to play with, with the different, like the farm with the woods near it, there's one with rivers and stuff. I like the one too with like uh, enemies can spawn at night, it makes it kind of interesting. Like, I'm feeling exhausted so 
what do I have for energy? That gives me some... No energy. All right. Sorry, George. I know I kind of wanted to give you these, but I need the energy. Eat those up and uh, get back to some more wood chopping. Jeez, there's so many trees down here. Think about how beautiful this farm's gonna be. Be all open and clear, and then I can get some cows wandering around out here and stuff. Actually, something I'd like to eventually do is get a, some farm animals going. Those are a super easy way of making income. Especially if you can get like a self feeder for them. It's the best. You don't worry about it. They just take care of themselves. You walk in, take the chicken's eggs, and then uh, go sell them for money. Don't run out of energy. How much more energy do I have? Oh, nope. I ran out of energy. That was dumb. I did a dumb thing. I thought I had enough energy to finish that off. Whoops. Uh, oh, that gives me some energy. I'm going to eat that. At least one of them. Oh, crap. That's the other thing I do is go back to the community center. Because I can read that stuff and see what they want now for their little pack of goodies. Okay, it's 510. I don't remember what they want at the community center. All those little creatures. The it starts with the J. It's like Junos or something like that. I can't remember what the little spirits are called. But let's go over here. We'll uh, go see what they want. And then maybe if I have the time, I'll loop down below the farm and see if there's anything I can harvest down there. Alright. What do you guys want? Oh, okay. I got one of the flowers. So I just need oh, one of the leeks I ate. And then a horseradish. And I have the flowers already, so I need to find a leek and a horseradish. That I can't do yet because I don't have the axe to get that. I don't have anywhere near the stuff for that. Winter, summer, and fall as well. Okay. Well, let's go out searching. And see if we can at least find the stuff to finish off the one bundle. So then I think that opens up where we can do all the other bundles in that building. Oh, also too. Real quick, let's look at the town calendar. Vincent has a birthday coming up, and Haley does too. And there's an egg festival coming up. My goodness. It's going to be an exciting week in this town. Alright. Let's make a quick loop through the woods, and then we'll call it a night. Because I don't think I'll be able to do much after that. Also, do anything in the trash cans? Three people thrown away. Nothing. Why can't people throw away some good stuff, you know? Why can't they make sure they're throwing stuff out that I can eat out of their trash can? It's just called kindness. Anything in here? Nope. Alright, let's go this way. Is that one of those, uh, yeah, I got a spring onion, all right. Wasn't what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Nothing in there. Some flowers. Again, not what I'm looking for, but I'll take it. Oh, 
Ooh, a horseradish. All right, that's one more thing. So now all I need is one of those stupid leeks, and I'll be okay. Or I'll get some flowers, you know. That works, too. Okay, no leeks here. Crap. Is there anywhere else I can... Okay, I know one more spot to run and look real quick. See if I can't find a leak. Really doubt I'll find one, but it's worth checking. Anything up here? Nope. Okay. Well, it was worth checking out, seeing if I couldn't find anything, but we've got three of the main items we need for it, so just one more. It'll be good. I call that success. So let's just throw you all in here. And real quick, I want to check my journal. Okay, now that you are... I did that. Do you want me to take it out of the furnace? Yep, that's what it wanted. Okay. I have a copper bar now. That's something. It's not going to give me any uh, money for that, though. Okay. Well, you know. We got some stuff done, so... And then we'll make some money off the stuff I threw in my box, so... All in all, an okay day. And level 2 on our foraging. We can now make survival burgers. Even better. I am going to end this off here, though. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate that. If you want to like, comment, and subscribe, I also would appreciate that. And I will see you next time.